Alright guys, Fokage here and welcome back to another video about Naruto Blazing. <laughs> okay, I missed that saying, but yeah, soon uh, there will be official shutdown of the Naruto Blazing in about one month, I would say, yeah. Uh, so, I wanted to do one of, one of the final Naruto Blazing vids and this one will be... I'll be describing my whole journey from the beginning until now playing this Naruto, uh, this game, Naruto Blazing. Uh, so when I started playing until now, yeah, I said that. Now, I'll go through the Naruto Blazing timeline. We're gonna go through my... Uh, we're gonna go a little bit through the characters the, that made a huge impact on me that I even started uh doing the youtube and everything else okay because when i started playing naruto blazing i didn't do youtube so i will explain all of that in this vid so you will learn a lot of a lot of things a lot of things i would say okay so yeah guys make sure to leave a like and subscribe you know the drill i need to say it <laughs> and yeah let's just go with of it let I, I, will, I will i don't know how long this vid will take but uh, i'll take it slowly and we're gonna enjoy it okay so, in the 2016, I didn't play Naruto Blazing, I didn't play here, I didn't play here, still not playing Naruto Blazing, still not playing Naruto Blazing. I started playing Naruto Blazing uh, right before the first anniversary ended, or we can say like right before uh the this naruto and sasuke first anniversary units banner disappeared okay there was two banners but still i was late <laughs> my friends donne and boys <laughs> he he talked uh with me and said bro you need to play naruto blazing now and i was like nah i don't pl i don't want to play any mobile games although i really like naruto <laughs> so it was funny but they did it at the end I started playing ju just when these banners disappeared, okay? I, I started playing right at the <laughs> right when first anniversary ended. <laughs> so I missed the best anniversary. But I started playing uh, the game and I really enjoyed it. I got really addicted. It was insane. And then the first ever Blazing Bash units were created. We can say that these units are the first units... Because Blazing Bash in some way completely destroyed Naruto Blazing. Because before we had only normal banners and Blazing. Like before, before, even when I started playing. Before when I started playing, but I know the drill. I watched the shiny and everything else, okay? Um, so, had to pause the recording. Sorry, guys. Okay, I was saying, okay, in short, I was saying that Blazing Bash banners are the ones that ruin Blazing at the end of the day, because then we had to summon on Blazing Fest and Blazing Bash to be competitive in the game, okay? And then there was not enough pearls, and they started doing less and less content. Yeah, but this Blazing Bash unit started it all. Although, if I open up my character box, so this, this Sasuke, this Sasuke, what the hell happened? This Sasuke, I pulled on a single summon. And I, did, I even didn't know how important he was at the beginning, and my friends were, were there when I was pulling. <laughs> and I pulled him on a single summon. Summon today I have him red ultimate. As you can see, he's one of my first units that I had uh, on my account. So until this day, I have him red ultimate. I always, I always played PvP constantly. So I constantly summon only on Blazing Bash banners. And back then, there was so much ways to farm the free-to-play pearls uh, that. I, I managed to gather 400 free-to-play pearls every Blazing Bash. And that's how you get cra crazy dominate in PvP. But then in... I will explain you in a short what happened. At some point you had to summon on Blazing Fest and Blazing Bash to be good in PvP. Okay? They, they just messed up. But yeah, this Sasuke first unit that I pulled. And it was the single summon. 
first crazy unit. He was the best PvP unit, okay? He was the best PvP unit. He could only, like, chuck or recover, but back then, that was insanity. Okay, so now when we're done with that, OT Naruto also made a huge impact on me in a sense of keep on grinding that game and just go for it, you know? As you can see, I have him also Red Ultimate, uh, both of this Sasuke and OT Naruto. I mean, this Naruto, in time, he began, he became my favorite unit in the game. Okay, now things have changed, but back then he was my favorite unit in the game, especially after the max limit break. Okay, that was really, really fun. Really, really fun. Real, really, really fun times, you know? Uh, okay, now nothing too special. I pulled this Killer B like a million times. Do I have him 99 luck? But I didn't probably put the pills. Like, there is no way that I don't have him... Oh, 60 luck? You're kidding me. I probably didn't. I have many more. But I didn't fit up some characters. <laughs> Classic. Okay. Uh, let me go a little bit through the character box. What else interesting? Oh, this Tsunade. This, is, this Tsunade is the first ever uh, PvP shop unit. Okay, and she was actually useful. And then in time, they started doing unuseful PvP shop units. Because they, they, they started changing the meta so goddamn hard, too much. The dev teams went insane, especially in PvP. That overall ruined the game. I believe the reason of the shutdown might be that they just couldn't balance. Even with gears and everything else, if they were planning to do something with that... I believe they figured out that there is no way to balance things anymore. Or they just give up, or they didn't fulfill something that Bandai requested from Gree. Who knows? Only speculation. Now, whoa! This Obito, bro, he was insanity. He was <laughs> also one of my favorite units, because back then he was the craziest nuker ever. The craziest nuker ever. And one of the rare units that he had 20%, like, I believe none of the units had chance to re get a reset, 20% chance to get a reset for the ultimate. And that made him, for PvP guys, the immobilization back then, that was the meta. Rarely some of the units could even resist immobilization. So, yeah, <laughs> so fun. I remember uh, PvP was so much fun. And then, oh, I remember this. The famous Rock Lee, bro. The famous Rock Lee. Look at him. I love that unit. I love that unit, bro. Where is him? Where is him? I pulled him like... Mm, where's my Lee? Where is my Lee? Lee, Lee, Lee. Did I delete him? <laughs> Accidentally? Maybe? Wait. Where's my Lee? You gotta be kidding me. I need the Lee now. Because I know I have him maxed out on my main global. Unless I deleted him accidentally. Like, no joke. Mm. Wait. Did I really? No way. I just don't see him. I don't see the Lee, bro. Okay, I guess I was completely blind. <laughs> I was generally completely blind. But yeah, a 70 lock currently. This Lee was game-changing back then. Okay, this Lee changed the game. Agara also, I, I love this unit. Overall, I believe I have him like 90 lock or something like that. Uh, I believe it's 90. Maybe I pull a few more Garas, but I didn't fit him, fit him in. Yeah, 90 luck. Oh, okay. But yeah, these two guys were also insanity. <sighs> I, I, until this 2017, the blazing was so good. The might guy, overall, they shafted him. He should have been stronger, but he did his purpose. And it was really interesting unit. And then, from the December 2017, I wouldn't even say that Blazing Bash in October 2017 ruined the game. Pretty much, every, yeah, there was the mad, they were the matters, but you could counter them. 
Uh, you could do stuff to them and it was fun, especially when they created the place infestable unit that can be also useful in PvP. And that was epic. 1% rate, beautiful step up, blazing festival banners. So I wouldn't say that whole comps concept, blazing bash, blazing bash, uh, blazing bash, blazing festival were wrong, because it was working. This times it were it was working, but when they release such overwhelming blazing bash units, unit like this Hinata, this Hinata, bro. But remember, before you could use multiple same units, this Hinata changed the whole concept of the PvP. Okay, the speed, the tankiness, the damage reduction. Ah, she is the one that ruined the game. <laughs> but yeah, from, th from that point, I started to lose will for the blazing and I still didn't start recording. Okay, I still didn't start recording. I'm just saying like a regular gamer. I started to lose will for the blazing, but I got so much lucky that pretty much I pulled so many nedges on the banner, but no Hinatas. But still, I was able uh, to pull it off. Okay, at the end of the day, I was able to pull it off. 99 luck Neji. Beautiful. I'm proud of this unit. Uh, okay, this Itachi, one of the coolest uh, free-to-play units that you could buy back then in the shop. He was actually useful in PvP. You could do so much fun with him. So, yeah, just I'm, I'm telling you, my most memorable units are from that arc <laughs> back then. And then, after this, I spent so much pearls, bro, on this uh, Neji Hinata stuff and didn't pull a single Hinata. And that was a big problem. Then they released Christmas summons that I didn't summon. Uh, this Lee was free to play, who was actually good. And he was able to go on the cost 28. Yeah, pretty pretty good times, I would say. Pretty good times. If if, if the death, death team done the things right, ah, it would be big glory for Blazing. Uh, six star Kakashi and Sakura. I was pulling for Sakura. But for me, I, I just needed some crazy healer because I didn't have the first anniversary Naruto. So I needed... Okay, let me put the seven star because now the Kakashi is seven star. But where is the Sakura? Sakura, where are you? Uh, let me put it like this. Okay. Where? Oh, here it is. Okay, sorry, sorry, take some time. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this Sakura, she was the best healer, like, hands down. Like, even the first anniversary, Sage of Path, Naruto couldn't compare to her healing. The only problem is, uh, you needed to use, like, a Jutsu to heal. So, back then, that was a thing, but with only one heal, she was, like, 250. And look, with a Jutsu, 2,500. Even today, that's not small, you know? So, yeah, that was really interesting. And then we have the semester Kakashi, of course, right here. But back then he was a six star, okay? Right here and here we can see the Kakashi. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, let me speed up now the process. Oh, I cannot speed the process. <laughs> Hashirama, I pulled him first multi, I remember that. But, but still, it was... It was fun. Until the pushback, it was fun. Because now with this Hashirama, you can counter. Because back then, they were actually low-key working. Not maybe in time. Uh, where I'm at now. Not maybe in time, but they were working on the freaking counters. They wanted to do counters for certain units. Okay? So, Hashirama. Beautiful counter against uh, Hinata. Because Hinata was meta until Hashirama. Uh, because this was the new year, and first they released the Blazing Bash, that was an interesting concept. And Blazing Bash Madra. Honestly, back then, nothing too special, low key, like Hashirama, he just. But today, as in a 7 star form, just beautiful. Okay. Uh, I can show you right here the Hashirama. I believe I have even two Hashiramas. Like the best PvP unit, hands down, at that time. And then Haku, so like they knew what they were doing. And look how many uh, different characters we have. 
like Haku, Zabuza, that was hype. They could have done so many versions of that and they just give up. They just give up. But look, Zabuza, Haku, they, was pretty co they were pretty cool. You could do so many combinations. Over to the last, yeah, fine. I didn't like that unit, honestly. Uh, then Sakura, Ino. Sakura was incredible. Evo Ino, I, I liked more Ino. <laughs> but back then, Sakura was better. But everything changed really soon. Uh, Shinden Sasuke, honestly, not in a really good memory, I didn't have pearls, April Fools, Naruto Sasuke, beautiful, and then the daredevils, <laughs> Itachi and uh, Shisu right here, okay, Itachi and Shisu right here, they changed the PvP, the first ever pushback unit, but then, the, here is the problem, they should have left that little pushback. They should have left the same pushback like Shisui has. Every single pushback unit should have. The only problem with this Shisui, they should have put bigger AoE range and everything would be fine. Like they could have created a little bit stronger pushback than Shisui's and that's fine. But no, they went crazy on with the pushback. Uh, Itachi also was cancer. And then the bigger cancer of PvP, Mother itself. Madara itself, bro. Let me show you right here on the account. When Madara showed up, I didn't, I couldn't pull him. I didn't had enough of pearls. I didn't got lucky, but eventually I pulled him and I completely max him out. But this guy, if you remember six multiple Madaras in PvP, oh yeah, that uh, that was scary. Kagura also amazing unit, and from there, like. For me, the last really, really good hype was this Madara and Kagura and then uh, Anniversary. This Minata, okay, he was like maybe a counter for Madara, but nothing too special. Heart Trap, then of uh, Jiraiya, Tsunade. Yeah, hype characters, but they are nothing too special, so... Yeah, I didn't care for him. Kabuto, back then he was amazing Blazing Festival unit, but... That were, that were all the traps. Traps? What? <laughs> all the traps before the final value units. This units changed the game completely. Overall, I would say that second anniversary ruined the game. I know a lot of you will disagree. But for me, doing what Greed done... Don't get me wrong. Events on second anniversary were amazing. Uh, the content was um, were amazing. On second anniversary, we, we still got a website. The characters, Sasuke, Final Valley Naruto, one of my favorite characters still today. But how greed done the banner? No step up, 0.33%. So during anniversary, you lower the rate of your... Because usually it's 1% rate. They could have left step, no step up. Okay, with 1% rates it would be better, but for me, they could, they should have just nerfed a little bit these two units, honestly, just nerfed them a little bit, and they could have done the step up, and just keep it more balanced, okay? But don't get me wrong, second anniversary was fun, but I gave up, I couldn't pull them as a free-to-play, so I just gave up the game, because you need them, without them, the blazing was not fun anymore. And then, <laughs> after all that shenanigans, like Shiny would say, <laughs> the Gree had done even more. Like, I believe the second anniversary was like, yeah, let's cash the grab. Let's let's grab that cash as much as possible, and who cares from there on. Kakashi, nothing too special, but first ever crazy pushback unit, and they added even 60% uh, chance of chakra recovery. And he even takes two chakra. From there on, the PvP, the metas, have changed on a completely different level. <laughs> like this Obito. Oh man, he was he was the beginning of something evil. Okay? And then from there on, they were trolling. Like from the second anniversary, they were just trolling. We have this Edo Madara, which was nice. The Pain, Conan, Trash, PvP characters. Itachi, Blazing Festival, nice character, nice art. But still nothing too special. Then another Kakashi, Obito, Shisui. Then they started with their Uchiha things. 
but Shisu was an epic unit, okay? This Sasuke touch, nothing too special for PvP. This Kakashi, yeah, pretty good nuker, pretty good nuker. But that was the timing when they started with these super impacts. And they started to giving extra boost to the Blazing Festival characters. Uh, Blazing Bash, Minato. Oh, bro. One of the best Blazing Bash characters in that time. Uh, pretty much that's all what I wanted to show on my phone. Okay, now we're gonna go... Oh, no. Um, Madara. Like, yeah, the last real hype in Blazing. Like, real, real, real hype in Blazing was this new year. That... Listen. Listen. So, I still didn't start recording nothing. We're still here. I gave up. On August 2018, I gave up with Blazing. And I didn't play it. Uh, maybe I summoned few summon Rachel Obito if I pull him. But overall, I gave up. I gave up for like a decent few months. Until the new year. So, I gave up like... Whew, uh, we could say like four months. Yeah, four months without playing Blazing. But then... This craziness dropped, and I got lucky. I pulled him, and yeah, me and Blazing were friends again. These guys, I don't need to say nothing. You already know one of the biggest hypes on Blazing, like this, and also this Blazing Festival character was actually useful in PvP. Like for me, that was the last like pure, pure, pure hype until the Seven Stars. Let me call it like that, but that was pretty much the cash grab and end of Blazing. Yeah, the favorite unit. The favorite unit. We could say this is my favorite unit in Blazing. I know I changed my mind a lot of it, a lot of time, but overall, when I look at all the memories I have in head, this Madara is something special, bro. Yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, this Madara means something to me. Yeah, that was the time when I was like, yeah. Let me do something with it now. Let me start recording the vids. And yeah, we started doing the vids. Okay. So when PvP was back, I started doing the vids pretty much on this Obito and Madara. Um, now you say, Yo, Rokage, how you can say Hashirama and Madara are your last pure hype? Uh, how can I describe that? There were so many more hype moments in Blazing, but not on that level, okay? Yeah, that was good explanation. <laughs> not on that level, okay? Not on that level. But still, there were so many more hype events. But yeah, this Obito uh, and Madara, yeah. The time when I started doing the vids. So I started doing the vids around of February 2019, maybe even, uh, yeah... February 2019, bro. So it's been two years. Almost two years. Ah. Okay. Uh, so then they released. And then, yeah, the, the huge deal. The huge impact for the PvP and everything else. The Kaga League. Free to play Kaga League Naruto. But still, even with this Naruto, it was fun playing PvP. Golden Week, then they released the Naruto, the Sasuke. They were hype and everything else, but I just don't, I didn't felt it completely. I don't know what to say. It was hype, but probably the pros issues with me. And then this pain was created. <laughs> the Blazing Festival pain, one of the strongest arts in the game. And at that time, we got the 500 free-to-play pros. I remember everything. And then insane free-to-play Omoi. Hmm. At that time... Yo, Blazing was starting doing the, the good again. Okay, Blazing was starting doing good again. Then the Gara, we did. We had Super Impact Daedras. Like, all of these units were starting to be a lot of fun. Then they, they started to doing a lot of uh, change elements and everything else. But they invested in that. But they didn't invest it in revamping the Super Impacts. All this Ninja World. A little bit be more focused towards balancing the game not only cash grabbing the game and everything else okay that was the huge problem and then the third anniversary the third anniversary for me uh, was pretty solid because you helped me guys i wasted all my pearls <laughs> on the sasuke birthday banner so you gave me a lot of accounts that i summon on kakashi and obito and at that time my uh channel started to grow more 
rapidly. So yeah, thank you a lot guys for that. For giving me that opportunity but even before third anniversary i would say that my started uh, my channel started growing when i after the first kaga leak okay when i was doing the live streams and everything else as i said um my channel is where it is now it is because of kaga leak <laughs> okay live streams and the kaga leak okay but today it is no more fun they disbalanced PvP in such a high extent. Back then it was low-key balanced still. It was unbalanced, but today, yo, unplayable. Even the ones with a meta can't enjoy. Uh, okay, then they were trying to do something with new abilities. Okay, I would say that they were still trying here, but I don't know. That was not it anymore. Uh, Shikamaru still incredible incredible unit uh, still beautiful super impacts were still a game as i said third anniversary units epic and then again anniversary again anniversary they created this unbalancing monsters this naruto and sasuke they completely broke the game a lot a lot of people gave up on blazing at this moment a lot a lot of we all thought like not all but we were thinking bro the blazing will shut down and i believe from that moment they were started to planning the sh shutdown okay then we had the stupid sigh <laughs> trash blazing bash killer b still they tried with uh, with different characters i would say saucer daedara that was unexpected they released this uh, saucer and daedara in a such weird time uh so it was really weird it was really weird okay this is Abuza, okay, eh, Hinata, nothing too special, I believe the Nagato then, after this Nagato gave up on Blazing, then they would start to doing good a little bit, Tsunade was hype, uh, this Super Impact Hashiram was really good and usable in PvP, and then they created another monster with a pushback, but still low-key balanced, and then the new year like overall the celebrations oh that loki destroyed blazing also they they, they they really bad effort doing celebration don't get me wrong sasuke is good he touches trash they, they should have made them more broken they made her like made them like oh sage Manorit, okay nothing too special for me uh kagura um bro i love that unit that was the monster for pvp bro uh pv <laughs> the best nuker and then hashirama these were all incredible units but they didn't care for the content anymore they were just putting out on the units so they can cash grab uh i would just go really quickly through this like yeah from this moment april fools they actually started doing something they increase rates they improve uh, they remove uh, fake golds yo they done so much they released this crazy Nagato, who was incredible skill unit for PvP. They released also... Pay uh, yeah, yeah. Then they released the Jubito Golden Week. That was disappointing because we were like, what? What? Then they released Pain. A, a lot of us underestimated him. But still, I didn't. I did a little bit, okay? I, I admit, but not a lot. Not a lot. He was still almost God um but eventually he became god when all other units were started when he was released he he wasn't so much as important uh, than in a few weeks afterwards okay then the seven stars okay that was pure hype and i was thinking yeah i started investing money on my channel and everything else ah bad decision i mean on this game because i was like yeah the after releasing seven star they had so much potential guys such a big potential and they didn't use that because they were doing still in june uh, 2020 they were still doing this there was they were uh, awakening older six stars to the seven stars and that was epic and then there was minato which was also epic and then okay oh man where we at okay there was minato shikamaru and the last super impact indra from there on 
it was RIP. Okay, I didn't mention uh, all the releases of the Kogelik unit, sorry for that. The Might Guy had a huge impact, but you already know about all the Kogelik units. The Might Guy, Killer Bee, uh, Sage Monardo, overall they made a huge, uh, biggest impact on the PvP f from the free-to-play aspect of the units. Uh, you already know everything about these seven stars, but I don't know. I don't want to talk a lot about them because overall they were they were the hint that they're shutting down the game. So I don't have them in such good good memory, but still one part of me has a good memory with them because my channel was doing the greatest during the 4th year anniversary, bro. I never got so many support, bro. But yeah, for that, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you all, guys. I thank even the Naruto Blazing game. Uh, the Gree, still, they developed the game. So without Gree, there wouldn't be also <laughs> the Blazing. And without Gree, the, uh, the, without Bandai, there wouldn't be a Gree. <laughs> so I just need to say thank you from the heart, everyone. This whole Blazing journey was amazing. But I guess at some point... Uh, I would say that they gave up, completely gave up on this game. Uh, uh, I don't know. I believe they, they were expecting to earn more money on the Samstam Naruto or something like that. But yeah, I believe Loki, they gave up on the game after the second anniversary. Like, they didn't, they started to do less and less effort, let me call it like that, from the second anniversary. So that's the overall conclusion. I enjoy I enjoy playing Blazing a lot. This was a really long video. I just want to show you for the end my collection of the seven stars, and we're gonna end it here. I, I wanted to keep it short, but that's the shortest that I can get. Okay. So yeah, these are my seven stars. Unfortunately, on my main global still today, I don't have the seven star Madra. But if you can see the amount of pearls, that will change. That is something that that it's a promise. Okay, guys, love ya. Hopefully you did enjoy this. This was my description of my whole journey, even before when I started doing the vids. So yeah, hopefully you did enjoy it. Love ya, and see you in the next one. Bye.